Ready to Wear line Chloe was founded in 1952 by Gabby Aguillon, a Parisian woman born in e Egypt who had decided that she was very dissatisfied with the prevailing fashion. Keep in mind that in 1952, Everybody wanted to look very kind of buttoned up and ladylike and sophisticated. She teamed up with a business partner, and in 1956, they presented their first collection. They presented their collection at the Café de Flore, which was important because that was the hangout place for existentialist writers and avant-garde artists in Paris. And that really conveys the kind of free-spirited attitude of Chloe. Um, the brand became successful, and it really preceded the boutique fashions of 1960s. It's important to remember that this was ready to wear. This was not couture, this was not dressmaker fashion. An important milestone for the company came in 1966 when Karl Lagerfeld was brought on board to design for the house. And a series of designers since him have kept the brand really fresh. Martine Sitbon designed for them in the 1980s, um, Stella McCartney came on in 1997. Phoebe Philo came on in 2001. In 2011, Claire Waite Keller came on and she's been continuing the very kind of bohemian romantic look of the brand. Chloe's kind of glory years were in the 1970s under the direction of Karl Lagerfeld. And he was dressing fashionable women from all over the world, ranging from people like Brigitte Bardot the French movie star to Maria Callas, the opera singer who was really a fashion icon in her time. Since 2011, Claire Waite Keller has been in charge of the brand and she has maintained the very feminine, bohemian, romantic look of Chloe that was established by Gabby Aguillon back in 1952. So what is important to know about Chloe is that it's a brand with a great heritage that goes all the way back to the 1950s. And Chloe has always been known for kind of a high scale, bohemian, romantic, feminine feel to fashion.